Hey fellow scrappers, it's Mike the Scrapping Guy here with another video uh, tutorial for your digital scrapbooking pages. And in this video I'm going to show you how you can easily create a background paper that, is, that looks like a satin or a linen kind of cloth. And if you've ever gone to a department store, a lot of times they'll put their products and display them on top of this kind of nice billowing uh, silk or linen or uh, some kind of satin kind of fabric and it really makes a, the product pop, uh, pop out and it kind of gives it an elegant feel and we can kind of do the same thing in Photoshop Elements 7 by um, using a couple of tools and it's really simple and it's really fast so what I have here is I have a blank page set up for my layout and I have my color swatches set at black and white and that's exactly what I want and I want to go ahead and I want to make sure I have my gradient tool selected. And I'm just going to go up from one corner and drag down to the other corner. So I now have a gradient black going over uh, into gray and then down to the white. Now the next thing I need to do is go up to my mode selection or setting. And I'm going to go and I'm going to choose difference. And what I can do now with that difference selected, I'm going to go and I'm going to start dragging also um, some more of the gradient patterns to kind of create kind of a neat looking um, folds actually that one I don't really care for a little too uh, much there kind of neat folds that our pattern and our uh, gradients gonna be and let me just do one more real quick there we go that should be good and like I said you just want to do some random little uh, lines and uh, patterns just to get different angles and things so what we can do now is because this is this is like really sharp edges we want to kind of blur that effect a little bit kind of soften it so I'm going to go up to filter blur and then Gaussian blur and I'll kind of want to take it up a little bit just to blur it out some let me say uh, maybe like around 36 it all depends just so you kind of have this kind of look to it and what I need to do now is to get kind of give it this uh, satin kind of silk look I'm going to go up to filter again go down to stylize and find edges now you probably can't see much it looks pretty white um, white on there it almost looks like it didn't really do anything except turn it white so what I need to do is go over to my enhance uh, drop down menu go to adjust lighting and then levels and I'm going to hit auto so now it kind of looks a little bit more like the satin that we're looking for kind of the the uh, the pattern that we're looking for but as you can also see there are little lines going all through here uh, on top of that so I'm going to go back up to my filter again go to blur Gaussian blur and from my previous setting I'm going to drop it down so it's not quite as blurry but just enough to kind of get rid of all those little those little lines that the um, that the fine edges created Good hit OK and there we have it there we have kind of a cool satin uh, linen kind of background that we can use and maybe put some uh, some wedding photos on here or anniversary photos with maybe some silver uh, silver frames or, or whatever it's all up to you but uh, this kind of gives you a little bit different a lot kind of a really different kind of textured background for your digital layouts and uh, hopefully you can do this uh, very easily like I just did in Photoshop Element 7 and create some really some really elegant photo album uh, like I said for anniversaries or or weddings or something like that which would be great gifts and that's it that's how easy it is to create the linen background